I have a special guest and this special guest today is appearing on my show as an author, not just as a cricketer par excellence uh, or a coach par excellence, but now author of the book, Stargazing. Ravi Shastri, thank you very much uh, for joining me uh, live uh, on this show. I want to ask you, number one, what does it take uh, to convert a cricketer come coach into an author? What drove you to write this book, Stargazing? Well, it, it was always, Navika, in the back of my mind, uh, you know, having been across the space for almost four decades, uh, you come across some great players, you come across some players who you've made friends with, you come across uh, former players who you worked uh, as a broadcaster with. And I always thought at the back of my mind uh, that these are the players in my life. And uh, not only have they enriched me with the way they played the game and the way they broadcasted on the game, the way they've contributed to the game, but they've also given me so much enjoyment, you know, to go through these 40 years uh, having been around them. So. This idea of mine came about three or four years ago that uh, I must write, pen down a few thoughts, uh, you know, about certain players I've seen over the years. And I decided to start with Sobers and end with Kohli because he was uh, the greatest of all time. So I said he, he goes to number one in that, uh, in, into that number one in that position in that book. So I start with him and I end with the uh, the modern day genius, uh, Virat Kohli. So, and uh, through that, there are a lot of players in that who have given me a lot of enjoyment. I've learned a lot from them. At the same time, you know, it's been fun when I've broadcasted. You know, when they've been playing, it's uh, it's been good fun. And of course, there are a few who are now part of this Indian team that I'm coaching. So it's, uh, it's very enriching. Uh, so Ravi Shastri, Gary Sobers, uh, the man you begin uh, writing with, uh, you were 10 years old, and I'm told uh, your, your father uh, used to compare you with your hero, Gary Sobers. What did you see that your father compared to Gary Sobers? And what did you see in your mind? My father liked Gary Sobers because he was one of the best players in the world. And because I was left-handed uh, bowling, right hand batting and I was an all-rounder so you know he my liking for Sobers was even greater and he was a fabulous cricketer you know yeah, just watching him you know on video I didn't see much of him playing but watching the videotapes you know listening to commentaries over the years when he's batted and then of course having worked with him as a broadcaster that's when I had real fun with him I had, having met him many times you know, we share a world record, which is six sixes in and over. And uh, it, it, it was great talking to him over the years. It just, uh, and what fascinated me was when you brought, did broadcasting with him or when you spoke to him, you realize how far ahead of the game he was. He was a visionary of, uh, uh, you know, unbelievable uh, sorts. And uh, the, just the way he played the game, it, it, it was unique. You know, he still today is probably the best cricketer to have played the game, which is uh, remarkable for someone who played in the 60s, 50s and 60s. Ravi Shastri ji, tell me that when you saw Gary Sobers in 1983, you were tongue-tied. You didn't say anything from you. And which is, uh, you know, something uh, uh, come, that happens naturally if you meet with a legend. Se mile. लेकिन उसके बाद उन्होंने आपको एक बात कही जो शायद आपने गांठ बांध ली उन्होंने कहा डोंट अंडरएस्टिमेट योरसेल्फ नो मैटर व्हाट द रेप्यूटेशन ऑफ द ओपोनेंट इज इज दैट समथिंग दैट स्टेड विद यू इज दैट समथिंग यू टेल द टीम दैट यू आर कोचिंग राइट नाउ Absolutely. Self-belief is the ultimate. You know, they, It was him and Sir Clyde Walcott who were walking together when uh, I think it was Sir Clyde who told me, uh, he patted me on the shoulder. He said, uh, you don't like getting hundreds, do you? So I said, uh, what happened, sir? He said, no, you're getting 30s and 40s and why can't you convert it into 100? You've looked you know, at ease against the pace. You played really well and Sobers was with him at that time and he agreed. And uh, as luck would have it, in the very next innings, I got uh, 100. And then again on the next tour of the West Indies in 89, when I got 100 in Barbados, in fact, it was Sir Gary who was on air doing commentary at that time. 
you know, when I got that 100. So it was just a case of them telling me that you've got to have belief in your ability because you can do it. We know you can do it. Now it's up to you to know that you can do it as well. So that's something I tell the boys in this team all the time. You know, you must, you know, have tremendous self-belief in your own ability. I've always wondered, uh, Ravi Shastri, uh, you know, you, you came from a victory uh, at Lords, and, and the last test match, the less said the, about it, the better. Um, you know, 78 all out. How, how do you cope with something like that with the team of players that you have? Uh, you know, what is the kind of conversation? Something, uh, uh, you know, that, that uh, people wonder about. How do you get past uh, something like that, a debacle like that? You, you it's, very easy. it's very easy. Just go back to Lords. Think Lords. Forget uh, the last one. As simple as that. I know it's easier said than done, but you should remember your good moments as well. You know, such things happen in the game. I mean, look what you did to England on that last day at Lords. We had no business to win. England were in the driver's seat. You know, we snatched victory. And in the last test match, you know, they bowled brilliantly. They got us uh, on the hop very first day of the test match, they put us on the back foot. Even though we had short glimpses of a fight in the second innings, uh, I think that first day, uh, you know, early dismissal of the players and being all out for 78, that, you know, played its part. But this series is wide open. If anyone thinks that uh, this Indian team is going to back off, uh, they have another one coming. Because uh, at one all, we are playing overseas. The pressure is on England. They have to win in their own country. We have done what we had to do with them in India. So, you know, the ball is in their court and we'll fight. There's no question about it. Fantastic. Uh, and, and, and does it come as, uh, as easily as you say it, uh, you know, in, in the team? Or did it come as easily as what Gary Sobers told you and it stayed with you? Does it happen? Is it, is it like a catalytic uh, uh, chemical reaction that happens? Uh, or does it take uh, a lot more than what you make it sound uh, on camera? See, if... You had not done it in the past, then it would take a lot more. But when you, when this team analyzes its performances over the last five years, where it has been the number one team in the world, you know, over the last uh, five years, then there is a different kind of belief that, you know, you're going to have your good days, you're going to have your bad days. But it's how quickly you put those bad days behind you and think positively and come out all guns blazing and fighting. So hopefully you will see that in the next week. So, I want to ask you that you have talked about a lot of stars in this book and you have said that Gundappa Vishwanath was your idol and he was not a gentleman in the gentleman's game. And then you go on to say Gundappa Vishwanath or MS Dhoni, many stars uh, who have uh, featured in your book, uh, you know, they're just retired and... Uh, you know, sometimes, uh, I mean, I'm not saying that about Dhoni, but sometimes they just uh, fade into anonymity. Do you think there is a tough part to this kind of stardom? Uh, has it changed over the years? No, it hasn't. Uh, that's a very good question, Navig. It, it can, you know, luckily in my case, I found an alternate career. You know, I was always... Uh, in tune with the radio and uh, commentary. So that made it much easier for me to get into broadcasting. But just coming back to Vishwanath again, I mean, he's the guy who got me interested in the game. I was seven years old. You know, when he got his first 100 in Kanpur, I was listening to that on the radio. He got out for zero in the first innings and then smashed 137 in the second. And, uh, you know, I literally knew every score of his by heart. You know, at least for the first six, seven years of his career. Till one day, I played in the same, same team with him. And it was at the Oval, you know, I got my first opportunity to bat with him because uh, Sonny was injured and uh, I had to open the batting with Dilip. And then Dilip got out and Vishy came in. And then I saw, and this was towards the tail end of his career, when I saw a genius at work, you know, from 22 yards, even at that stage of his career, he got 50 runs in no time. But some of his shot making was uh, absolutely unreal. I mean, it... it it blew my breath away, you know, from 22 yards to see those wrists functioning, you know, where literally the same ball, he would hit it in different directions, was uh, unreal. What do you, what do you uh, think about Kapil Dev and uh, Sunny Gavaskar? You've played a lot with them. You've written a lot about them in the books. What are your personal experiences with them? Uh, how different are they in, in uh, their personalities and 
how did you relate to each one of them i was fine with both of them and i got along you know very well with both of them different characters couple uh, you know the more exuberant uh, sunny the more calculated and it showed in their games the way they played i mean both great great players i mean gavaska probably the best batsman opening batsman i've ever seen and banan you know he was boss when it came to a water tight technique and uh, you know ability to play this the you know the, the fast bowlers the swinging ball the seaming ball i think he, he, his technique was uh, second to none and couple there when you look at natural ability i think amongst all the all rounders i mean i i, I keep sober separate but amongst all the other all rounders he was the most naturally talented and uh, because anything he did he made it look easy even when you see him fielding in the outfield after bowling 20 25 overs uh, you know he was remarkable and to go through a test career of 110 31 test matches without once being injured you know is uh, i mean what do you have to say i mean it's a tribute to his fitness it's a tribute to his uh, stamina you know for playing that length of time and the way he did uh Kapil da jawab nahi is how your chapter on Kapil Dev uh, uh, goes uh, in 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 the book uh, how would uh, you describe uh, the chapter on uh, Sunny Gavaskar in your own Sunny so, Sunny you say uh, what can you say Mr Solid I mean absolute he was like a you know Uh, you couldn't get through it. you know once he got in it, it he was one batsman i saw that from the dressing room if he stayed in for 20 minutes and you saw a certain pattern you almost knew you could go to sleep and this guy will still be batting after 5 hours or 6 hours you know there was that element of certainty about gavaskar getting 100 if he reached 15 or 20 you know which i have not seen with many batsmen Uh, that man you knew you know that you could see the determination and because of that water tight technique he made very few mistakes how did you get along with the uh, saurav ganguly uh, there was there was uh, a, a particular uh, uh, interview in which you spoke about him uh, and and you said aapne bahut acha likha unke bare mein par ek baar aapne likha tha ke सौरव गांगुली देर से आए थे इसलिए टीम बस में आपने उन्हें चढ़ने नहीं दिया था और सौरव गांगुली से जब पूछा गया तो उन्होंने कहा सुबह सुबह रवि शास्त्री से इंटरव्यू नहीं करना चाहिए एनी एनी फायरवर्क्स बिटवीन यू टू दे नथिंग व्हाट इट इज बेसिक इवन नाउ इफ समवन कम्स लेट फॉर द बस द बस विल गो डजंट मैटर हु इज सो जस्ट हैपन टू बी सौरव दैट डे Does he hold as it against that, you as, a, as BCCI a, president today? The, 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 sorry, I said, does he hold it against you as BCCI president absolutely, today? Absolutely not. I just had a chat with him when he was here. You know, it's. Uh, I mean, we played a lot of cricket together. My, my, he was still very young when I was uh, finishing my cricket, but uh, I've watched a lot of his cricket. You know, he, in fact, he played for the same company I played for. I was captaining Tata Steel, and he played for Tata Steel under me. So. you know we go a long way but you know the media loves us you know like you mentioned this story they love this bhelpuri and chaat and make a nice of masala out of it so which is bahut maza aata hai mujhe bhi bahut maza aata hai sunne ko itna maza aata hai na jab aap chhedte ho na aisa bahut maza aata hai ha to bhelpuri aur chaat zaike ki cheeze hain india mein aap london mein baithe hain to kya hua भेलपुरी और चाट तो याद आती ही होगी और इमली की चटनी हो या नींबू हो दोनों तरफ से अच्छा ही लगता है अरे यहाँ पे भी बहुत मशहूर है तो फिर बताइए कि आपकी ये जो किताब है स्टार गेजिंग इसमें आपने थोड़ा सा चटपटा कम नहीं डाला कोई भी डिश अच्छा बनाने के लिए थोड़ा चटपटा थोड़ा जायका तो कुछ कॉन्ट्रोवर्सी से आपने किनारा किया है अच्छी-अच्छी and how is my relationship with virat kohli excellent he is the boy 
वो देखो देखो इधर ही जा रहे हैं सीधा लग दैट्स नविका नविका सोए वाओ सुपर देखा सी और टाइमिंग देखो जबरदस्त है उसके साथ यू नो इज इज पुट इंडियन क्रिकेट ऑन द मैप आई मीन द वे वी प्लेड ओवर द लास्ट 5 6 इयर्स आई मीन यू ओ लॉट टू हिम यू नो द वे ही इज लेड द टीम फ्रॉम द फ्रंट and uh, after after the kind of uh, loss uh, uh, you know you've seen uh, together last time uh, is he a guy uh, who whose chips are down after a loss does he over evaluate the mistakes of the team does he become pensive uh, you know tell me a little bit about the personality because i think our viewers uh, don't know these cricketers up personal uh, just tell us a little bit about how do you deal with a situation like this with the kind of victory at lords and one, then this one thing i'll tell you you know with all great players all great players you know they know that you cannot succeed in every innings even the great bradman would fail you know he, he would score once every three innings or four innings so you know it, it, it is a given that you are going to get 100 and then you might get go through a period of 3 4 innings but you won't get one and every great player knows it and has gone through it and they know that if they believe in their ability they believe in their strengths they can turn any situation you know in their favor after a span of time but they realize it and they know it that failure is part and parcel of the game no matter who you are whether your name is sir donald bradman or sir garfield sobers or sunil gavaskar or virat kohli Or Sachin Tendulkar. They all know it that once every five innings you you'll score, otherwise you'll fail. But it's how you you know try and remember the good good points in your batting and the strengths, and you convert that in your favor. Uh, uh, Virat Kohli is a genius. Uh, he's a craze. Uh, he you know I think his fans uh, run into. uh the 135 crores who live in india and uh, how many crores uh, who live uh, outside of india i don't know uh, but uh, the fact is that he has had a bit of a dry patch over the last 22 months not uh you know hitting a century uh aisa kuch uh matlab does it weigh him down uh, how do you how do you deal with that uh, see not at all because uh, he would know yes you know sometimes the rub of the green doesn't go your way i mean you look at joe root joe root had two and a half years where he couldn't score a run but nothing went right and look at him now i mean every time he walks in it looks as if there's already 100 on the board so you know players will go through those phases but it's what you learn in those phases that makes you an even better player so surely he might not have got 100 in the two and two two and a half years but he is learning all the time he he, he would know that when his time comes that's when he's got to cash it and make the most of it you know remember the two and a half years and then start converting those good scores that he's getting into being very very consistent uh how how do you compare cricket uh, in in your times uh, you know when you got uh, your uh, first car uh, i i think it was an audi uh, in the benson and hedges uh, cup and that was right after the 1983 uh, uh, match and uh, you know how how do you think the approach to playing professional cricket has changed from the 80s till today uh, circa virat kohli i think the basics are the same in the game you know nothing has changed much uh, uh, only thing i would say that the pace of the game uh, it has is faster now because of the third format coming in 2020 cricket you know there is more franchise cricket than uh, what we had in our time and the spotlight because of uh, media and social media is much much more on a player so the pressures that uh, they have to face are much more than uh, what we had to encounter in our times but you know like you mentioned about Uh, winning that car in 80, 85 in australia you know very quickly it taught me that one day you can be a hero next day you can be a zero because i won that car one week later we played pakistan in the final in sharjah and the same team that we had beaten in uh, in australia and one week later i was out first ball to imran for zero and we were bowled out for 125 but miraculously we went on to win that game the bowling out pakistan for 86 but for me individually it was like you're on top of the tree one day or hero then zero then again you have to get up 
and play. So that's the fun element in sport. If you didn't have to go through these periods, now we got, you will say, Maza nahi aaya. You know, it is when you combat these obstacles and uh, overcome them, that what, that's what gives you, you know, immense job satisfaction, more than anything else. It's like you said now, 78 all out. If we can have a good game at the Oval, that will give me more job satisfaction than anything else. And I know the team has it in it to do it. So, you know, let's be positive. Uh, Ravi Shastri, uh, uh, kaha ye jata, at least bahar se hum ye dekhte hai, jisko aap chaat masala aur bhel puri kehte hai, uh, Rohit Sharma aur Virat Kohli mein uh, thoda sa kuch tension tha. Aur kaha ye bhi jata hai ke as a team uh, director and coach, aap ne is par bahut mehnat ki hai aur aaj uh, uh, shayad dono ki jo tuning hai, jo no, dono ki jo aapas ki chemistry hai, wo bahut behtar hai. Iske baare mein... क्या ताल में ले दोनों को अभी पता है आपको क्या ताल में ले दोनों का यू नो विराट कोहली एंड रोहित शर्मा यू नो इट्स इट्स फॉर मी आई आई एंजॉय इट इन द टीम सी यू विल ऑलवेज हैव पर्सनालिटीज व्हेन वी प्लेड द गेम इट वाज गावस्कर कपिल देव टुडे इट इज समवन एल्स एंड समवन एल्स व्हेन इफ एवरीवन इन द टीम इज द सेम फिर मजा ही नहीं है you know you need different characters you need different outlooks you need people to disagree on certain things to get the best out of the side if everyone is honky dory on the same page all the time then you won't get you know sparks of brilliance from a side so so for me they are on the field they give their best shot they are totally committed and they will not do anything that will dismantle the team's efforts in going towards a win or playing like a team. So, so Mudda kya tha dono dono ke beech mein thoda sa jo ye talmel mein pehle kami thi uska mudda kya tha? Mujhe to dikhai nahi diya. I never I never saw it. So when people used to ask me I say what you are saying I am not saying. Abhi to aapne kaha abhi to aapne kaha ke ab unki talmel behtar ho gayi hai. To matlab pehle nahi thi. Hamesha talmel hamesha talmel acha hai. Ab aap badal rahe hain. नहीं मैं बिल्कुल नहीं बदल रहा हूँ हमेशा तालमेल अच्छा है एक बार भी मैं देखा नहीं हूँ कि इट हैज अफेक्टेड द टीम इफ आई सी इट अफेक्टिंग द टीम तो मैं तो साफ बोलूंगा मुंह पे विराट को या रोहित को चलो यू नो दिस इज नॉट ऑन यू हैव टू यू नो लुक एट थिंग्स डिफरेंटली बट नॉट वंस एव आई सीन इट अफेक्टिंग द टीम फ्रॉम डे वन मैं बदलने वाला बंदा नहीं हूँ मैं जो बोलना चाहता हूँ वो सीधा बोल दूंगा मैं तो रवि शास्त्री जी आपको लगता है रोहित शर्मा फ्यूचर कैप्टन हो सकते हैं आईपीएल में उनकी परफॉर्मेंसेस अच्छी रही हैं लेकिन कभी टी ट्वेंटी या वर्ल्ड कप ऐसा उनमें पोटेंशियल है कैप्टन बनने का देख आई एम द कोच ऑफ द टीम नाउ आई एम नॉट अ सिलेक्टर नाइदर एम आई एम ब्रॉडकास्टर जब मेरा ये टाइम खत्म हो जाएगा कोच का समय खत्म हो जाएगा फिर आप पूछिए मैं जरूर बताऊंगा आपको एट दिस मोमेंट ऑफ टाइम टू फोकस ऑन द टीम And focus on who's there in the team. Abhi, you have said that I say everything straight and straight. And now you have hit the ball. Hit the ball. But it is according to your position. I am not a selector. You are asking me when the captain will become. But you are a coach. You know the people of people. I am a coach. I am a coach. I am a coach. My team is captain Virat Kohli. Vice captain is Ajin Kehrane. One day team is captain Virat Kohli. Vice captain is Rohit Sharma. And they're doing extremely well. I mean, if you see the performances of the Indian team, tell me what other team is consistent in five years. If there's no one, then you have to find out if you have to find out if you have to find out if you have to find out. Now, I'm going to say that this team is right and I'm happy with it. Ravi Shastri, you have also written in the book that when MS Dhoni announced his announcement of retirement, you were met with them. उन्हें अपना माइंड चेंज करने के लिए कहा था क्या हुआ था सडन अनाउंसमेंट क्यों की थी और आपने जब उनसे बात की तो आपसे क्या कहा हमें लाइक आई रिटर्न द बुक नो बडी न्यू अबाउट इट क्योंकि मैच खत्म हो गया मेलबर्न में मेरे ख्याल में थर्ड टेस्ट था एंड ही वाज टू गो टू अ प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस तो उसने मुझे कहा कि रवि भाई व्हेन आई कम बैक आई जस्ट वांट टू स्पीक टू द वॉइस तो मैं बोला ऑफ कोर्स यार यू आर द कैप्टन यू आर एंटाइटल्ड टू स्पीक वी आर ड्रॉन द मैच तो प्रेस कॉन्फ्रेंस करके आया है और अचानक से बोल दिया दैट दिस इज माय लास्ट टेस्ट मैच आई एम रिटायरिंग एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच बट दैट्स द काइंड ऑफ मैन ही इज 
एम एस धोनी अगर इज नॉट समन वुल वेट हंड्रेड टेस्ट हो जाए मेरे हंड्रेड एंड ट्वेंटी टेस्ट हो जाए उसको जब लगा कि और उन्होंने कहा कि दैट वी फाउंड दैट इट वाज डिफिकल्ट फॉर हिम टू प्ले ऑल थ्री फॉर्मेट्स ऑफ द गेम तो उसने सोचा कि अगर मैं टेस्ट क्रिकेट छोड़ूं तो मैं वन डे क्रिकेट खेल सकता हूं दो तीन साल बिकॉज माय बॉडी विल गेट मोर टाइम टू रिकवर एंड प्ले दो टू फॉर्मेट्स बट दैट्स हिम दैट्स ईच ईच ह्यूमन बींग इज डिफरेंट और ये धोनी का टू बी ही कैन बी लाइक दिस आपने uh, इसकी बारे में भी बात की है कि राहुल मुझे तो भागना पड़ेगा अभी क्योंकि मैं प्रैक्टिस प्रैक्टिस ओके लास्ट क्वेश्चन रवि शास्त्री आई नो यू आर आउट ऑफ टाइम आपकी बुक का लॉन्च है uh, आज ही लंदन में uh, और uh, पूरी इंडियन क्रिकेट टीम आ रही है और बहुत से आईकॉन्स uh, आ रहे हैं एलन बॉर्डर आई एम टोल्ड इज ऑल्सो गोइंग टू बी देर Uh, not alan border all the sub former players from england you know alan lamb might be there michael holding might be there farooq might be there there might be some old players from uh, my time you know who who will be here. it'll be a good evening it's uh, it'll be it's in the same hotel so the boys don't have to venture out anywhere it'll just be a nice relaxed evening you end your contract with the indian team in november uh, what are you looking forward to after that I am looking for the next 45 days. I am not thinking of anything else. 45 days I have, so let me focus on that. So when samay aayega, tab tab ko pata chalega. Shastri ji kahan nikal rahe? Shastri ji kahan nikal rahe? Shastri ji, aapne kaha hai aur hume promise bhi kiya hai ki Shastri ji jab yahan se team coach ka kam aur jo aap is vakat aapke upar zimmedari hai, jab wo khatam hoga to aap humse aur bhi bahut kuch kahenge. तो हम इंतजार कर रहे हैं आप और जो भी करें टाइम्स नाउ पर जरूर आए टाइम्स नाउ और टाइम्स नाउ नव भारत आपका इंतजार करता रहेगा क्योंकि बहुत सी चीजें पूछनी है आई यूज टू बी ऑन योर चैनल बिफोर सो दिस नो रीजन वाई आई कैन कम बैक absolutely so we're looking uh, we're looking forward to that and uh, all the very best uh, with That's your book cool. i hope uh, uh, it gets into the best seller list which i'm sure it will uh, already uh, very interesting read uh, very fast read and superb to catch up with you ravi shastri thank you very much for joining us uh, right here from london looking thank forward you, thank to you. meet Navika, I must say you've got a lot of variations. You can bowl the googly, the dusra, the tisra, swinging ball, seaming ball. You've you've got all the ammunition up your sleeve. Mm-hmm. Well, Thank uh, you very much. Well, as they say, my training uh, political reporting me rahi hai. So, ye sab hunar maine waha se sikhe hain. So, kabi kabi sports me kam a jate hain jahan politics maine suna hai kam nahi zada hi hai. Chalo. <laughs> nice speaking and we shall see you soon thank you very much ravi shastri thank you